everyone talking about Oud Satin Mood, the extrait version by Mason Francis Kurjan. The notes in this are Laotian Oud, Bulgarian Rose, Turkish Rose, Violet, and Vanilla. I think this is incredible, and to me it really is way better than the original even, and I was already surprised to like the original with the notes in it because it just didn't look like my type of thing at all. Don't like Oud, don't like Rose, most of that stuff in there. Sometimes I can tolerate you know, those notes and stuff, or even Rose and Oud sense, but I was already like, okay, yeah, that's pretty smooth and nicely done, but this one just really takes it to another level, and oftentimes when an x straight version comes out, and if you're not familiar with that, that's just a higher concentration of the fragrance, uh, well, that's what it's supposed to be. Sometimes they'll call it an x straight, but it really does smell pretty different, but that's the technical definition of, like, Eau de Toilette versus Eau de Parfum, and x straight being, like, the highest concentration of it. Oftentimes when it comes out like that, it's a higher price tag, but it's just really not that impressive. Sometimes it doesn't even smell better, and it's almost like, oh, that's like too thick or too much or something, or it just has a different scent profile. This one, wow, they really did make it so much better in my opinion. It's like way smoother, more luxurious, cozy, warm, regal, but not in like a snobby or the type of challenging royalty way that I always call it that I dislike. Yeah, it's like creamier, but it has this kind of sense of smooth, warm spice as well. I didn't see that listed in the notes, but that's what I get out of it. The violet and vanilla combination adds this kind of perfect touch of sweet, slightly, you know, powdery, smooth sweetness, but without going too far. Uh, just, yeah, all around fantastic. Really impressed by this, even as someone who normally dislikes both Rose and Oud. Super wearable Oud scent. For the wearable Oud collection on my site, I think I have less than 10 or so in there, and I added this one to it, and out of all the thousands I've tried, I rarely add anything to it, so clearly I was impressed by it. Um, great longevity and projection too, like really incredible. Very pricey, uh, 450 or so for a 70 milliliter. Pretty unisex, I would say. You might think it's feminine because it's like, oh, violet, vanilla, rose, and whatever. But yeah, overall, I think it would pretty much smell unisex, you know, out and about in public. And yeah, really impressed with this. I like it just so much better than the non x straight version that one i like like i'm you know impressed in the sense of like oh it's better than i thought it would be but this one is just not even comparable to that it's so much better and i have seen quite a few other people saying that as well and uh, i'll link in the description where you can check it out